Hey guys, it's Big Mac Kaz again. And from Twitter, I can see that Treyarch has posted a picture of Newtown that is dropping on Tuesday, which will be the 24th of November. They've also released a trailer with it, so I thought I'd do a little react review lot, give my thoughts and opinions on this, and we're going to do a sort of kind of mini breakdown of it. But anyway, let's get into it. As you can see guys, my dad clearly isn't here getting the milk, but nevertheless, I was just thought we'd pick out a few images from this trailer, but I'm actually quite happy with this trailer. I like the look of it. You know, it always gets updated in all the several Call of Duty's that have been released over the years. Like, I'm pretty sure, not confirmed, but I'm pretty sure this map has been remastered like how many times? Even it got its own zombies map for Christ's sake. So anyway, let's click on with the first image. As we can see from this first one, we can see the poster. It's obviously going for a very hippie vibe, very like 80s sort of thing, which obviously suits the time of the game. So, do you know what I mean? It's pretty fitting to make Nuketown around the same era like it did in the original Black Ops. Obviously, from this second image, you can clearly see how I felt when my dad didn't come back with the milk. From this second still, we can clearly see the sign that's been in every single remaster of this map that's been in every single game, such as Black Ops 1. Black Ops 2, oh man, it was such a good game. Not really you, you were okay, but you were really pushing your fucking limits with me. No, not you, not Call of Jetpack, fuck off. Wait, 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 hold up, hold up, hold up. He just killed him in two seconds flat. What? I pray to God that they're hinting at a time to kill fix for this game. Like, Jesus Christ, if you didn't know what I'm talking about, look at my previous video. In this next clip, you can see your typical spawn camper, where he just looks into spawn and sits there and kills you repeatedly because the spawns are still broken in this game. And furthermore, getting a kill like this in Nuketown would be like me winning the lottery five times and me having a 25 inch cock. Not only the chopper gunner and the napalm strike are going to be a massive problem with this map, also the RPGs in this game. Thank god one man army isn't in this game, but I already know that this is going to cause a problem. So I would equip Flapjacket while you can boys. But if they make this as its own separate playlist, at least grinding for camos might not be as hard this time. Just when I thought this map wouldn't get any harder, I forgot that shotguns are now secondaries in this game. So, if you got a spaz equipped, well, you're going to get that gold pretty quickly. This is the same backflip I did when I got a medium fries at McDonald's and they gave me a large instead. Also, if anyone collaterals me in this map, I'm actually going to shit myself in anger.
And there we have it, guys. Nuketown's coming out next Tuesday on the 24th of November 2020. Jokes aside, I'm actually quite excited for this map. I'm kind of glad that they are releasing it as soon as they are. Another thing as well, there's also an MP5 nerf coming, but obviously I'll probably get on more details of that in another video. When they release like a big update, that's hopefully going to address a lot of the issues. If you don't know what I'm talking about, again, previous video is in my channel. But anyway, guys, thank you for watching. If you did like the video, please like and subscribe, and I'll catch you a lot in the next one. Peace.